quoi ce bordel What hmm. Je suis comme... Je suis un lapin ou quoi <coughs> Ah d'accord. En tout cas les ronces c'est pas rassurant. Ok. J'ai l'impression d'être dans un vieux jeu. <rire> ok, là c'est trop bizarre. <coughs> d'autres pommes mais parce que c'est des pommes hein, très clairement non j'ai l'impression d'avoir tout trouvé ici c'est euh, est ce que c'est ça un de ses rêves ça Saleté. Mais non, mais la pomme. Ça y est, je l'ai. Est-ce que c'est un truc qui lui est arrivé en son enfance ou euh... qu'est-ce qui se passe C'est trop bizarre tout ça. Ta putain Saleté. Non, pas de pomme ici. Euh, 
faire l'avion, je vais aller faire l'avion. Ah non, je les ai ratés. C'est bon. Raté. Merde, Doom. Ah, purée, je suis obligé de tout recommencer. Encore une fois, grap. C'est bon. Ok, j'ai eu un trophée tarte aux pommes. A mon avis, c'est parce que j'ai collecté toutes les pommes. Je <coughs> pense uh, so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov, la commission de commission est mort. Molotov's body is here. Quoi? What about the others? How many people were with him? Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? C'est lui qui a fait ça. The robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic. But it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir. But the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left, help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident. <coughs>
What? What was that? A tribute to the departed. Comrade Sechenov! We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Ah, y'a un s'il te plaît, ça t'écorchera la gueule. Et j'y pense, ils étaient là pendant tout le processus. Mais il a bien vu que c'était mauvais ce truc. Charles. What the hell? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. Is the truck was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage. What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. Molly. Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? Dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently. Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that jelly man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace. It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. On est sorti. Alors je rappelle qu'on ent qu est entré par là. So Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with say Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster. Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Whoa. Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right. Uh... Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone. Or he would have already done so. Voilà. That is why he is attempting to deceive collective central control. Je peux vraiment Are you conduire? About that big ass ball floating oui. in the sky? 
You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. Yeah, gosh, uh, uh, je conduis. Scientific academy would be required. Such as the academy of consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. Ula. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put the protections Aye. in place. Uh, oula, 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 je sors, je sors, je sors. There's a reason he made it to facility 3826. He's the one who optimized the programmer to robot and robot to robot digital data transfer protocols. Comment j'ai bien fait de sortir moi? Anyone how the central hub works? Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's temporary. After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes, although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find oh, that kind of equipment other than the Science Center? Only aboard the flying Chelemay complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov. Traitorous dickhead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, comrade major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect. Là, je euh, je regarde pas ce qu'ils disent. Là, je, je suis concentré sur la route. Hop là. Alors, il y a plein de trucs à fouiller ici. Oh putain l'enfoiré par plein de trucs, tant mieux. Là, je vais pouvoir m'améliorer dans un max. Yeah, me too. I'm Euh, 
Alors, tac, 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 tac. C'est bon. Ce que je peux vous dire, c'est que mon stock là, il va être rempli à bord. <rire> Merde. Il me faut un cookie. Bon, ce qui est ça, c'est que je vais pas manquer de munitions. C'est bon. Eh, um. Look what we have here. Ah, pas cool ça. You killed him. That's enough, Victor. So much death. I just knocked him out. He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the secret troubles, and by opposing him, you know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you! I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of Zechenov orders him to! Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick. <laughs> And painless. So such enough talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us. <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not Victor's fault. Huh? It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor, you said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> And you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? 
<laughs> How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. <laughs> no, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. Et moi, je suis enchaîné, je fais comment? Tiens, tiens. Alors, je reviens. 